As you already know, I had a dream. I wanted to run a large chain of restaurants and eventually get my black belt in karate. But how would I have the time, let alone the money, for all of that? One day, I got a phone call. It was my lawyer telling me that my English uncle had died of a heart attack. Apparently, I was the only inheritor of his small fortune, which included his beloved cat, Hazard. I have to admit, I wasn't all that excited about the prospects of owning a cat. I've never been one for pets. But taking care of the cat was one of the stipulations of the will. And if I wanted the money, I had to take the cat. So, naturally, I took the cat. It was amazing. Suddenly, having enough money wasn't a problem anymore. Virtually overnight, I went from living paycheck to paycheck to living quite comfortably knowing I was financially secure. This security allowed me to start dreaming about my future as a restaurant owner again and to restart my karate lessons. As it turns out, my uncle was a very rich man, and I could have probably opened a small sushi bar in town with my inheritance alone. But I figured, why not go all the way? Why not take the money and make even more money by putting it in the futures market? You see, the futures market is no longer limited to just large institutional traders. Individuals can now make money as commodity prices move up and down, just like the professionals do, by trading futures contracts. A futures contract is a contract between a buyer and a seller where the buyer pays the seller money up front and the seller agrees to deliver a commodity or other asset to the buyer on a specified date for a specified price. Anyway, I figured I would just invest the money I inherited and buy futures contracts on commodities I thought were going to increase in value and sell futures contracts on commodities I thought were going to decrease in value. Of course, there was still quite a lot more I had to learn about futures contracts, like what each contract's margin requirements, ticker symbols, and fundamental characteristics are. But I was able to find moments here and there to study. I still remember memorizing what all the different letters and the ticker symbols mean on my way to my new karate classes. It was a long ride on the train, so I had plenty of time. Luckily for you, the most important knowledge has been compiled here, so unlike me, you won't have to carry a lot of those books around. Uh oh. I forgot to buy food for Hazard. I have to go now. He's a really impatient cat.